miserable day. But it's not miserable in here. <laughs> right, today's set of nails. I don't know if you remember, if you follow me on Instagram, I've done a... Um, I done some marbles and um there was a few people that asked me if there was a tu 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 <laughs> a tutorial on doing the marbles um so there wasn't but i thought well i could do one um the marbles turn out differently today i don't know why they don't look as good as what they did um on the marbles that i done on my instagram post but i've used the same colors i've just i don't know i've used the same colors but i've also added some like metallic floral design on it as well and i've put some crystals on so i'm going to use the same colors that i used in that instagram post um so you can see how i done the marble but obviously no marble is going to be the same i just think i've been unfortunate that these didn't turn out as good as the previous ones um, but there we go is what it is so I will um, I'll let you watch don't forget today is the last day that you can get 50% off of Madam Glam using my code natmog50 so let's crack on with the video and um, yeah I'll see you in a minute right so the Madam Glam gel polishes in front of me are the exact same colors that I used on the Instagram marble so here they are I've got Euphoria I have got Primavera then I have got light lilac, I've got lemon pie, and then I've also got perfect black and perfect white. Don't forget you can save 50% off using my code natmug50, um, today only. Um, I've got some gold leaf, and then I've also got these mono flowers decals from Nail Sugar. You can save 10% off Nail Sugar using my code natmug10, they've got lovely decals on the website. You need some water and a stamper. Um, if you're going to do it the same way I do it, I'm going to apply a single coat of white to each of my nails and then I'm going to cure those in the lamp for 30 seconds. You're going to need some blooming gel. I'm using the Urban Graffiti Blooming Gel because I don't have any Madame Glam Blooming Gel at the moment. They do the same job. And then onto my palette, I'm putting a line of each of my colours. And you're going to go over your coat of white with a layer of your blooming gel you don't need to put on masses of blooming gel you just want a nice a nice like a nice coat of it just but not thick you don't have to do it thick right using my ombre brush I mean, you can run your dotting tool through your colors if you want as well i just scoop up the color with my ombre brush and then i like float it over the nail and there's a bubble yeah, I, I, I like how you, I don't like what I done there. I don't like all those wiggles in that gel polish. I think that's one of the reasons why I didn't like this set as much. Also, I don't think I ran the dotting tool through the colours the first time I done it. Um, whereas this time I did. And what, look, what I'm doing here is, if you wear gloves, you can just press your gloved, your fing your gloved finger up against the side of the, the, the nail. It just removes the excess gel polish. With um, doing this design, you can end up with a lot of product on the nail. And doing this just pulls off any excess product and it also will help the marble spread. And then by pulling off any excess um, it just means that your gel polish will cure properly. Again, look, I ran the gel, the dotting tool through the gel and it's, I think it's like smooshed the colours up together too much. Because you, like here I'm really only, I'm just seeing a lot of purple and not a lot of anything else. So yeah, I'm really annoyed because they didn't turn out half as well as the Instagram ones. But that's the trouble with marbles no marble no two marbles will ever look the same they're all going to be slightly different so once i'm happy i'll pop that in. and then i'm going to do the third one as well but i've seen you do i've shown you two so we'll do the third one off the camera but then i decided to add some gold leaf um my gold leaf that i have in a little pot is from um well nail sugar used to sell gold leaf but they don't anymore um, this gold leaf I've got here, I think it was from somewhere like Shein. Um, but you get some, you actually get, this is, this comes in sheets and there are different colours, but I'm using a gold gold leaf. 
would you call it metallic leaf just in different colors i don't know anyway i'm just putting um like a section of this on each of the nails you can put them in different places i was i didn't want it to look too because like i was pulling it off and it looks very angular i don't really want it to look like squares on the nail but because of the way it was i don't know so you you want to put enough a big enough patch that it's it's got to be roughly the same size as the flowers on the decals but it, i mean it doesn't have to be it's not the end of the world so i'm gonna do that because the gold leaf is not tacky um i'm gonna just go over with a very very thin coat of base coat this just is gonna give the gold leaf a tacky layer and when we stamp on our decals it just gives them something to stick to so i'm going to cut out three different types of flower from these decals and then i like to cut off as much of the excess as possible and i will place it upside down on a stamper you can just put it straight into your water but this way i can't remember where i discovered this way someone i saw someone do it and i was like what um, so you just dab the back with some water. The decal is going to soak up that water. And then after, this is sped up times two, but I've left the first one on. Can you see, I'm just keep trying to pull it to see if it's ready to come off. And it will just slide off, dab off the excess water. And then I'm going to stamp it over the area where there is gold leaf. Now you can't see it very well at the moment, but we you'll see it a lot better once we top coat them. Um, if you do it shiny top coat, they won't be as visible as if you matte top coat. I'll show you, like you can imagine they could have looked pretty similar to that if they were shiny. But we're going to take Madame Glam's Velvet Matte Top Coat and we're going to top coat all three of these nails. I love Madame Glam's Velvet Matte Top Coat. It's the best top coat in the whole wide world, especially the matte. I mean, the matte one's lovely. Look, and can you see how much they pop now? I just thought that looked great. I really like that. I thought this was an experiment, turn a successful experiment, that's the word I was trying to say. And then I thought, right, we'll add some Preciosa crystals. So these are the Preciosa Aurum. I've got the Rachel Wilder's Crystal Fix and my Crystal Katana, which I stuck Zodiac crystals on. <laughs> I'm going to add some of the Crystal Fix to the nail. By the way, all these the crystals, the glue, the Crystal Katana are from Crystal Parade. And you can save 10% on crystal braid using my code network 10 i'm going to do like a little arch like a it's like a crystal cuff but it comes down into arch a bit like a widow's peak you know the hairline well, i've got a widow's peak i'm sure it's called a widow's peak you know your hairline comes down into a point <laughs> or is it a witch's peak like, if it's a witch's peak i don't like it i'm not going to call it that um i don't know anyway it comes down into a little point so I'm just adding my crystals into that crystal fix. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some gold caviar beads. I'm going to do this off camera just because it's a bit fiddly. There we go. Look, we've added some. It just gives it a bit more definition. That needs a 60 second cure in the lamp. And then I decided, I don't know why, I thought, let's add some dots. <laughs> so I'm going to use Madame Glam's um, gold gel paint. And we're just going to add some like weird dots. I don't even know what the point of the dots was. I don't know. But I just shoved loads of dots on. Sometimes people like dots, don't they? I think you're either a dot person or you're not. I'm not quite sure. But <laughs> I think I'm an in between now. But once I've done that to all of them, this one I just sort of done the dots kind of more around the flower than, than a dot trail. A trail of dots but there we go right the gel paints once you're done will need a 60 second cure and they don't have a tacky layer so you don't have to top coat afterwards so pop those into the lamp and i will show you a close-up so here they are um i hope you like them if you did please leave me a like i quite like them in the end um i was yeah i like the flowers i thought they were lovely anyway the websites and discount codes will be below after april the 1st madam glam's discount code for me or for you from me will be nat mug 30 where you can save 30 percent off but god bless love you all and i will see you in the next one love you bye <laughs>